Hey, what's up? I'm Dave Boyer, aka Mr. Boyer, aka The Swamp Man. Hiking in Glacier National Park. We just hiked up the Hidden Lake Trail. It's about a mile and a half up to this observation point that I'll give you a look at in just a second. Um, came up with my family. Let's say hi. So let me get you a look at the, the lake and the mountains that are right around here. Pretty incredible sights here in Glacier. Um, so Glacier National Park is going to get its name based on some things with glaciers. So there's a couple of things that are easy to see right here. Um, first of all, a glacier lake. Um, as the glacier moved down through this valley, it cut deeper and deeper into the rock and left indentions where water could collect, thus the formation of Hidden Lake. Um, but we just came from Rocky Mountain National Park and these mountains are quite a bit different. The shape of them is quite a bit different. Usually the shape of a mountain, you're going to think of how was that mountain formed. Um, but sometimes it's what happened to that mountain after it formed. So glacier, with these glaciers receding, they were able to cut these rocks into jagged edges. This is Bear Hat Mountain behind us here, this big triangular peak here. Um, it's got really rough edges, a lot of scour marks, these lines that are going through it. Um, all of those are evidence that this area was filled with ice all the way up to the top of that peak. And over this warming period over the past 10,000 or more years, 50,000 years, um, it's been receding and cutting through the rock and giving it these jagged edges. Um, Rocky Mountain was much more of the smooth lines going up. Pretty incredible. So keep in mind, sometimes the shape of a mountain is going to be determined by its formation, whether it was a folded mountain, um, or a volcanic mountain, or plateau mountains, dome mountains, um, or sometimes it's what happened to that mountain after it formed. Give you one last look and I'll sign off. Pretty incredible. Glad I got to stop and share it with you and tell you science rocks. Peace.